what innocent search turned out to be porn. I was in a bowling pro shop, shopping new bowling balls. Saw one called Hammer Triple X. Googled it real quick without thinking anything of it. Porn. All porn. Similarly, I really liked the movie Triple X with Vin Diesel. Trying to find the website for that at 8 years old sure opened my eyes. I was looking for an edging tool at Home Depot a few years back to fix the edges of my lawn around the front sidewalk. Apparently it's a masturbation technique that comes up when safe search is turned off. When I was about 10 and playing Morrowind for the first time I wanted to find some high level armor at a low level so googled ebony. I saw a lot of things. I had something similar happen, I had to do a report on Hades for school and it said he had an ebony scepter, so I typed it into Google search in the middle of the computer lab and got blasted with porn. Back in the wild west of the net, anybody who used .com instead of .gov when trying to get to the White House's website would find a hardcore porn site. I remember the way that I found out about this was from a police officer at my school. They used to come in and teach us about drugs and illegal stuff. One of them used this as an example of how easy it is to stumble across porn. So of course later on everyone went to check it out. What is wrong with people? Like every teen boy isn't using that as a guide. LMAO. Oh this was actually in like 4th or 5th grade. So they literally had children looking at porn lol. Exact same thing happened to me. Didn't know what porn was, some teacher was like don't go to whitehouse.com. I was 9. Of course I went. And it kicked off a severe porn addiction that I battled ever since. Classic. Don't even get me started on farmclub.com. Or was it clubfarm.com? Oh well, one was a website slash TV show by Fred Durst showcasing new rock bands and the other. Well the other was a bestiality site. The Wild West indeed, kids these days would shit if they saw the original internet, we had to stuff the dark web into a corner, it was once free to roam as well. It's so weird remembering the days of one computer for the whole family set up in a public space where anybody can see what you're doing at any time. Imagine trying to get a modern family to live like that. They'd all be at each other's throats after three days at most. I didn't care when I was a kid because I was mostly just playing flash games and streaming The Simpsons. Although I remember one time I googled naked ladies while nobody else was home and then cried when I didn't know how to delete my search history. There was an educational site called Fun Brain back in the day that we went on in school. Never understood why it blocked Fun Brian when you typed it wrong until years later. Hmm. Is it hotmail.com or hotmail.com? Ha. Huh. I remember once the TV show Baywatch was running some contest slash giveaway, like a free vacation or something, you could enter just by visiting their website. So I tried to do that while at the library. Not sure what I mistyped into the address bar, but it lead me straight to hardcore porn. No warning screen or menu page, just full page graphic image of sex. Naturally, there were multiple adults behind me with full view of what this kid was looking at on screen. Pretty sure that was Matt Pinfield. Yes Matt Pinfield was one of the hosts. I say Fred Durst because he was like one of the producers and they acted kind of like it was all him but I believe it technically belonged to a record label. Somewhere some dude is telling the story of always ending up on Fred Durst the site by mistake. As a mechanical engineer working in an offshore company, I needed to show an example of a spreader bar, don't google this at work. <laughs> 